Hi friends, my name is Marina Chapelsky. I'm a New York and New Jersey immigration and family law attorney. We work with immigration cases all over the US and in my channel, I'd love to make videos talking about uh, the latest news that have to do with immigration, with politics, with social environment in the United States uh, that relates to immigration, relates to law, and all the things that are interesting and are happening right now in the United States. And today's video is about the current situation with the new proposed Democratic bill that's going to come down this fall, probably around September, October, uh, based on Biden's proposal for taxes and other uh, things like families plan and jobs proposal. Uh, that are coming up in the fall, and this is the last chance in 2021 for Democrats to propose a bill of their own to go to Senate. Uh, before I get into it, I ask you to please become a follower, become a subscriber to our channel, hit the little uh, bell below, and give us a like if you like this video, because I love to hear back from people their comments about what they think about these videos because it affects how I make them, how I film them, it affects what I talk about. So I really love the feedback and I ask you to become a subscriber and give us some likes. So basically there's a, a plan for a new bill. A bill is like a draft of a law that the US Congress Democrats specifically are putting together to put out in the Senate. And this has to do with Biden's promises to push a bill through uh, Congress having to do with tax increases for uh, and uh, also the families plan and a jobs proposal uh, that didn't get included in the bipartisan, bipartisan means Democrats and Republicans together uh, plan earlier this year. So this is the Democrats last chance to put forward a bill that has to do with everything the Democrats suggested, and it has immigration in the priorities. It's like on top of the list, the things of things that this new law might, it's not gonna be 100% yet that it will pass, that might pass the Senate to vote on. Take action, take action. And um, they're gonna start talking about it in the fall. So the core of the package is expected to deliver on parts of Joe Biden, President Biden's 1.8 trillion families plan and 2.3 trillion jobs proposal that doesn't doesn't talk about COVID anymore. Now this is just about the budget going forward for our country. What's on this bill that's coming up in the fall? First of all, it's free school meals for all the kids everywhere. And of course, the federal government is going to have to pay for it, and it's on the list. The meal is on me. Second is going to be tax breaks. Uh, Biden's social infrastructure plan already calls for extending the Democrats' recent expansion of the child tax credit and the earned income tax credit and a tax bre uh, break subsidizing child care expenses for poor families. So Democrats are expected to throw in a new tax perk for renewable energy as well. But that's boring. We're going to talk about immigration today because immigration is on what everybody is talking about and everybody's mind and especially for us because we do immigration law. So for immigration reform, the Democrats want to squeeze into this budget bill. And this is not the amnesty bill that everybody has been talking about. This is a separate law. It's a budget proposal. And the Democrats are trying to squeeze immigration into a budget proposal. And Democrats want to include a pathway to citizenship for recipients of DACA. Also, they're called sometimes dreamers. So these are kids who are brought in the United States by parents or aunts and uncles or friends illegally. Then they became adults and they're still here illegally. So Obama started this program and uh, Democrats want to squeeze DACA citizenship into this budget plan. Uh, top Democrats like the Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer of New York, by the way, where I'm from, and the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi have both said they want to include immigration changes, immigration reforms in the budget package. And Biden has showed that he's open to this. So if this actually passes Congress and passes Senate, it gets to Biden, he said he will approve it. But of course, it's a long way to go. If you have any questions about amnesty or this new law, 
we should hold off because they're still being worked on and mostly just proposals in the U.S. Congress. So let's wait until fall and see if all this passes. But I thought it's exciting that this is a real possibility that maybe some immigration reform is coming down as part of another plan, which is the budget law plan. Um, and we'll see what happens. You guys stay with us. If you have friends or family or you yourself need an immigration attorney, we work with people, with clients in all the 50 states. Our consultations are not free. Our consultations are paid. They're $220 per consultation with one of our team. It might not be me personally, but sometimes it is. So give us a call if you have a very complicated immigration question like abuse case when you're married to a U.S. citizen or green card holder or were married and you're, you were abused in that marriage, like asylum, denial appeals, uh, anything with immigration court, uh, getting the 10-year green card when you're no longer with a citizen spouse. We can help you. We welcome your call. Give us a call. Bye-bye.